Hello everyone, in today's video we're gonna take a closer look at this uh, Brabus 800 XLP uh, adventure model. Uh, this model is based uh, on the uh, G63 AMG uh, and it's produced by uh, Almost Real. Uh, it's a metallic model and features opening bonnet, doors and uh, trunk. Also has some uh, interesting uh, other features that I will show you on the way. Let's start in the front. Have the headlights which look pretty good also have the brabus there the grill is perforated and you can see the radiator uh, behind it so have brabus written there as well uh, also have this bumper with the number plate this grill is also per, uh, perforated and then the first nice feature is that the winch um, it's uh, functional as you can see uh, we have some carbon fiber texture here, which is very nice on the bonnet. Uh, next, let's move to the side. It's a very big model. I have to be careful with it. We have here some carbon fiber texture, uh, texture as well as uh, here, of course. Also, we have Bravo's written there, very small. The wheels look pretty good. We have Bravo's on the center. Also have tire writings. And we also have Brabus uh, off-road written there on the in the center. And also this model features suspension, as you can see. Next, here uh, the side steps you uh, can uh, uh, move them. You can uh, unfold them. Sorry, so to get in again a nice feature. Also we have the here the headlights, the night headlights which also have uh, carbon fiber protection around them. We also have here uh, uh, some tools, which have some interesting mountings. Uh, here we have the exhaust. Again, very nice uh, attention to details. In the back, we have the lights here, the light bar also to stop the third sub light. Uh, in the back, we have the grills, which are not perforated, which is a shame. Uh, they made the front one perforated, but they didn't make the back one. Uh, we have Brabus written, also the model here. Have some carbon fiber textures here. One thing you uh, should be should look uh, at this model. There's a big problem with the hinges here. They uh, tend to uh, unglue them. They tend to uh, the glue on them doesn't stick, so you have to re-glue them. I did mine. Uh, and also the magnets here and here were loose, so I have to glue them as well. Here in the back. You can see the back here looks pretty good. We have Bravo's written there. And uh, I think it uh, uh, should mimic some uh, wood. But I'm not uh, pretty, uh, centrally 100% sure. Let's open the one to check out the engine. Of course, the of course the hinges look pretty good, and we have a lot of details. We have the Brabus, pretty nice. Also, we have some uh, uh, these uh, uh, struts, which look pretty pretty good. I think it's a beautiful model. Let me close this. Fine. One thing I found the doors are particularly light. They tend to close very fast, so be careful. And they also have magnets here and here, uh, so they can uh, stay shut. Let me zoom that in to see the be to see the interior better. Very nice uh, interior. Uh, we have the Mercedes logo, we have some carbon fiber texture there on the, the wheel, the steering wheel, also on the center console. Almost real, uh, really does a good job. Also in the back we have a few details. And we have also have a, a textile uh, uh, seat belts. Let me open the other side as well. As I mentioned, 
the doors tend to not stay open we even have problems written there on the on that screen on the dashboard and in the back again everything looks pretty good we even have the shovels here on the side as i mentioned we have a few tools tell me in the comments what do you think about the model i think it's a beautiful model and you can find it in china uh, at uh, some great prices i think uh, there was a shop i will try to put the link in the description that sold it like for 150 dollars plus shipping or even less um, if you bought more don't uh, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos